Hello and welcome if you're new to my channel and if you're a subscriber, a warm welcome back. This video is part of the viewer comment response series where I respond to a comment made by a viewer against one of my videos. And the particular comment for this video goes as follows. I would like to ask your opinion on the Celine Triumph in black color and Dior Montaigne 30 in the same color. I would like to buy a classy handbag that will be with me for many years. I'm not sure which one is better. Thank you so much. Classy, especially in the context of my channel where my focus is on quality and under the radar brands, is very much about understated. An understated handbag that's low key, unflashy, it's unpretentious and the focus is solely on the phenomenal quality of the leathers and the exceptional craftsmanship. So comparing Christian Dior and Celine to me is literally music to my ears. I'm Anna Susagonda and I produce educational luxury content for anyone after the finer things, whether you're young and starting out in life and wanting to reap the benefits of buying quality from the get-go, or you're into luxury, but you want to focus more on quality and under the radar brands, or you're new to money and wanting to learn how to navigate the terrain, then my content is very much geared towards you. Celine and Christian Dior are both owned by Louis Vuitton Moe Hennessy. And Louis Vuitton Moe Hennessy is the largest luxury group in the world. And as I've mentioned before, when you're owned by the biggest luxury group in the world, you have access to a lot of money, a lot more money than many brands will ever have access to. And that money is pumped into so many different things, whether it's the marketing of your brand, raising the profile of the brand in the market, or strategically positioning the brand in the market, um, getting you access to the best talent, whether it's the designers or the artisans who are going to make the bags, and also the very best supplies, whether it's the hardware, or the leathers, you are starting from a distinct vantage point. You're getting the very best of everything. And that is where uh, Christian Dior and Celine are starting from. So their products are going to be of very high quality. They're also in two different levels of luxury. Celine is in what's called the premium core. Premium core is bags that are typically priced between one and a half to three thousand pounds. And the focus, the typical focus for a consumer buying a bag from the premium core is the quality first and foremost, and then price is secondary once the quality has been achieved. Christian Dior is within your super premium and this is bags that are typically priced from about £3,000 through to £5,000 and the focus with uh, super premium is on quality. Price is irrelevant, it's all about the quality. Celine bag within premium core is priced at £2,500 and the um, Montaigne bag from Christian Dior is priced at £2,800 in the super premium. It's just a little below the £3,000, but the majority of Christian Dior bags are between three to £4,000. This falls just short of the threshold, but it's very much um, a, prem a super premium brand. Looking at the two bags individually, the Celine Triumph is made from a shiny calfskin, a satinated calfskin that has a very subtle sheen. Um, I like the subtle sheen and the way it, it, it plays off, it complements the champagne color of the clasp on the front. It's a heritage clasp that has been reintroduced by Eddie Sliman. Works very well with the subtle sheen of the leather. Very simple bag, rectangular in shape with the rounded edges, making it a fun, feminine, flirty bag. Long strap, wear it over the shoulder, cross body, Open the bag on the inside, you have three compartments, making it a very roomy bag. Um, there's a zip compartment in the middle so you can secure items in there. But the amount of room in there gives you options to be able to carry the bag as an everyday bag or as an occasion bag. You can close it up and it's compact enough to be um, an evening bag. Um, the rest of the bag is very simple, very little going on. Um, you just enjoy the beauty of the calfskin. It's soft, it's smooth, it's springy to the touch. 
it is delicate but it's not as delicate as uh, the box calf skin that they use for the Christian Dior Montagna. It will scuff, um, but with superficial scuffs on the Triumph bag, soft, fluffy cloth, just give it a little polish and it typically will polish it away. It's only the deeper scuffs that you'll see, but the bag generally doesn't scuff as easily. Switching over to the Christian Dior bag, a uh, rectangular shape, a more masculine shape, uh, the, the, the corners, the, the structured bag, Comes in box calfskin, it's soft, it's smooth, but it's incredibly delicate. It scuffs very, very easily. And I've also noticed with wear and tear with box calfskin is that it can look a little dry. You need to give it a little polish with a cloth, a soft, fluffy cloth. Polish it um, just to help coax out a bit of sheen. Otherwise, it can look dry. And over time, it just looks tired and it doesn't look, um, the leather just doesn't look as attractive or as appealing anymore comes with um, a very simple uh, Christian Dior clasp, which is timeless. It's not a design you typically will get tired of. It's very simple, very effective, um, and easy to use clasp. Open the bag, has one compartment. Near side of the bag, you have an open pocket. On the far side of the bag, you have a zipped compartment, a zipped pocket um, where you can secure items in there. But you're very much limited when it comes to space and therefore it's more an occasion bag coupled with the fact that it's box calfskin. So it's not as uh, robust. It's a very delicate leather that scuffs very easily and scuffs, whether they're superficial or they um, are deep, will tend to stay. And you'll notice that with the bag, with all the visuals. Comes with a long strap, you can wear it over the shoulder, you can wear it crossbody, uh, or totally remove the strap and then um, add on a scarf and just make it a little more fun, a little more playful. Um, just add a bit of color to it and you can wear it uh, over the shoulder or top handle depending on the size of the scarf. Turn the bag over and you have the name of the bag emblazoned on the bag, but otherwise a fairly simple bag all around. Which one is classy? Well, I'll naturally gravitate towards brands that are more under the radar. So naturally, Celine. But I'm going to go with Celine for a number of reasons. When you compare the two, as I mentioned earlier, box calfskin with time can look a little tired. It's a matte leather. And unless you keep polishing it, it can look tired. The scuffs also can take away from the bag, the, the, the look of the bag. But I know certain people do like the scuffs. I do in certain circumstances. It just... Um, adds character to the bag. But when you compare it to the subtle sheen of uh, the Triumph and then the champagne color against the, the matte uh, um, leather together with the gold clasp of the Christian Dior, I prefer the look of the Triumph. I like the clasp from Christian Dior for its simplicity. It's not something that you'll outgrow, it's timeless. It's not something you'll get bored with over time. But the leather, I'm not so sure with box calfskin. It's very delicate and scuffs and it can look tired after a period of time. Flip the bag over and you have the name emblazoned on the back. I don't like that at all. I think it looks cheap. It looks trashy. I just, it's something I don't even understand why the brand would do that. To me, Christian Dior is an incredibly classy brand and that to me takes away from the bag. And that's what made me think there's no way I would recommend this bag for that reason. It's something you, you might like when you're younger or you're somebody who's into aspirational brands and you really like the name screaming out. But I think it's something you'll outgrow over time. And especially when I think of myself at my age, logos are not my thing i'm more just about the quality and the craftsmanship so that really takes away from the bag but the chris the celine triumph um the style of the bag the simplicity the quality of the leather the subtle sheen uh, the the curves the, the curves of the bag feminine fun playful to me it's a classy bag all around lucy i hope you enjoy whichever bag you choose in good health any other questions, as always, do let me know in the comments down below.